Hi. Hello, I have my new skull hat. I don't know if I'm saying that right, probably not, because I know these Northern European languages have lots of different sounds for their vowels, which we Americans do not know how to pronounce. And I can pronounce the Romance languages, except maybe French, but um, Norwegian, no. Um, it's been a very good day really grappling with the balance between the anger and the revenge factor that I feel and also taking care of myself um, mentally, emotionally. So these videos are a good balance because they're not seen by a million people. They're seen by, you know, 30, 40, 50 people and that's enough. So they're mostly for myself, I don't feel like. So... I know I change my mind all the time because um, the the desire to expose is very strong. And today I felt more the the betrayal of the guru relationship where I loved him. It's it's more personal now. It's like oh, I loved you, and I thought that you were leading me somewhere, but it turns out that you were just holding me at bay. He was holding me at bay for a lot of different reasons. And the whole time I was squashed. Uh, what's happening now that's amazing, the juxtaposition is this feeling of like coming into myself and how different it is. <laughs> like, oh, my brain works and I'm, I'm reading, I'm excelling in my academic work and I love it. And my brain and my creativity and my my love life and um, all the things about me and how there's just this open channel now and just experiencing the open channel makes me go back through those years and I think fuck my entire 30s and my entire 40s were given to this person and uh, yeah it's just like Trump it's like uh I want you to admit this is real. However, I also want to say that I'm reading, I read this book by Jean Miller, the T Towards a New Psychology of Women. It's from the 80s. And, you know, everything that she's describing that women have gone through to try to understand and to unpack and to not blame themselves and to not, you know, that's, it's just what I'm going through now. It's almost like, like I, I see the parallels, like patriarchy is a cult in terms of how people worship it and will, that they'll die before they, people will die before they admit any kind of weakness or before they would change. I mean, we see that level of toxic masculinity right now with regard to masks and Trumpism and, and how it's seen as a weakness to give a shit about the earth, about people about so it's and um, to try to find a way around our gender socialization and to find tenderness with another man is quite revolutionary and also beautiful and, um, So I'm not really sure how unique my experience is. It might just be feel unique because of my white maleness and how, you know, we're not usually subject to this kind of thing. I mean, we're trapped in our own little worlds, but giving our control over to another person uh, and betrayed in that way, I think this is a um, mostly an experience that women in our culture have. Um, so it's kind of nice to know that this is not that special and that the women have done so much uh, work to try to sort it out and to see how in our little pockets when we learn to, to talk to each other, that's when we are healed and released. So it's hard to see the water that you're swimming in and the water that I'm swimming in right now feels like
there's a lot of, it's hard. The moodiness is not as intense. There's a lot of beautiful things happening. And, you know, to me, the, be the most beautiful is um, watching my family blossom and feeling my own freedom. So, <laughs> and, and still there's, there's a giant fuck you to the guru and, and fuck you to all the, all the lies and the betrayal. But that's a very big blanket, fuck you. It's to the whole world of um, secrecy and lies. I mean, today there were 81,000 um, complaints related to sexual abuse to the Boy Scouts that was released today. And it's like, is not that entire thing built upon sexual abuse? 81,000? I mean, that's a lot of men doing a lot of hiding for years. So we're not overreacting when we say it's systemic. And sexual abuse and serial predators and sexism and eating disorders and um, racism, they're all part of the same animal. Men hiding. Come down off your pedestal, please. All any of the men you can come down now. It will serve humanity, and you've been lying to yourself. So my lovely man, my lovely man friend, boyfriend, said he's concerned about my anger, and I go, yeah, well, it's real and. I gotta let it run its course. Let the anger run its course. Trying to punish myself with it.